Hey guys, Swansea Batcave here with this month's uh, June opening of Deck Maniacs uh, Magic Gathering subscription box. And so let's take a look inside. So, on top we have an extra pack of Oath of the Gatewatch, one of my favourite sets so far. Go down there. We have the normal Deck Maniacs little advertisement thing. So, um, they are a monthly subscription service. You can check them out on Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, and their website, deckmaniacs.com. Uh, this box is the $29.99 box. They do uh, smaller subscription boxes where you can just get packs or you can just get some other things. Um, but this is the big one that comes with packs and surprises. So let's see what's inside. So we have a token pad. It's very cool. Ooh, and something quite big. What is it? What is it? What is it? <gasps> Ooh, ah, cool. It's one of the Innistrad... The Shads of Innistrad intro packs. I haven't got one of these yet, so this is going to be really cool to open. Very, very cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, what else do we have in here? We have one, two, three, four, five packs of Oath of Gatewatch. And another one, two, three, four packs of Oath of the Gatewatch and Shadows over Innistrad. Very, very cool. No, uh, no little piece of paper contents this time, that's, that's quite interesting. Unless they're going to do away with that because it's a surprise sort of box. So, we have our number of packs there, and the Innistrad one, and the intro pack. So I think we're going to open Shadows of Innistrad pack. It's the only one of them. Let's see what's inside. So we have pieces of the puzzle. Uh, Merciless Resolve. Inspiring Captain. The Silber... Silberlind? Snapper? Is it like a turtle? Oh, it is a turtle! Ah, excellent. Uh, we have a Rotheart Ghoul. A Voldoran Duelist. Fork in the Road. Some very atmospheric artwork there. Search your library for up to two basic land cards, reveal them. Put one in your hand and the other in the graveyard, then shuffle your library. It's quite cool. A hulking devil. And our, it's an uncommon, the aberrant research, which I think transforms into like a, yeah, an insect. There we go. It's very cool. Yeah, fleeting memories. And the murderer's axe. And then this one is... Oh, there's another one common. Kind of gives you an extra one because of the double-sided one. The Graf Mole. And then our rare, which is... Oh, Flame Blade Angel, which I believe, yep, is the one we got in the intro pack. That's pretty cool. Got two of those. Um, so, uh, whenever a source an opponent controls deals damage to you or a permanent you control, you can have Flame Blade Angel deal one damage to the source's controller. That's very cool. And then we have a Swamp... Ooh, and a foil rare, Anguished Unmaking. This is cool. So it's three. Um, XL target, non-land permanent. Um, you lose three life. That's very cool. That's a nice rare to get. Put that over there. With our normal rare. And then we have a clue. Clue. So that's very, very fun. Right. I think we shall spend the rest of this video looking at the intro pack, and then I will do another video for all of the Oath of the Gatewatch pack of things. So if I move these over here, there we go. So this up here. Okay, so uh, this intro pack comes with a ready to play 60 card deck, two Shadow of Innistrad 15 card boosters, and a rules insert. This is a red and white deck. Very cool. That's, that's nice. So even though we've got the normal amount of packs, I think nine's the normal amount that the, the pack the usually comes with. And then we gained an extra one up top. So that's ten. And we've got twelve packs for twenty nine ninety nine, which I think is very, very good, actually. Let's tip these out. We have our two Shadow of Innistrad packs here. So we'll open those in a moment and let's have a look at what's in the deck. So got this little Pull tab bits there. There you go, pull tab. Cool. I really do like the pre constructed decks that they come with this um, stuff. So we get the Flame Blade Angel, which is the 
foil promo on top. It's very cool. We have a Devil's Playground. I think I pulled one of these in the last pack opening. Uh, so when it dies, deals one damage, and it puts four one one red tokens into play. Stern Constable, two of those. An Ember Eyed Wolf. Uh, so that gets plus two each turn. It's got a little kick ability. Have a Devil Thorn Fox. Three of those. Unruly Mob. When another creature dies, dies, you put one plus one counter on Unruly Mob. It's very cool. Uh, Howl Pack Wolf. Uh, can't be blocked um, unless you control a wolf or a werewolf. It's quite cool. Carthar's Companion. Ugly Dog. And whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it gains indestructible. Three of those. Have a Runaway Carriage. It's got Trample. Whenever it attacks or blocks, sacrifice the end of the turn. Pyrehound. You get two of those. Trample and cast instant sorcery spell, put plus one counters on it. So, again, uh, creatures you control get plus one. So, I think it's all about beefing up small things at low mana cost by playing other stuff with creatures. So, killing each other, gaining stuff, being unblockable. Uh, I've got a number of mountains, a number of planes. There we go. And then we have. Seeming is the spells for other side decks. We have Lightning Axe, so it's got one cost. And you can discard a card or pay five. So you discard a card, pay one, do five damage to target creature. Some very cool removal. Rush of Adrenaline, target creature gets plus two, plus one, and gains trample. Very cool. Uh, Griff Spoon, Magmatic Chasm. Neary's Machinations, beginning of combat, on your, um, on your turn, target creature control gains indestructible. That's quite cool. Two of those. Um, Angelic Purge. Um, sacrifice a permanent. Exile target artifact creature enchantment for three. Murderer's Axe. Another one of those. Dance of the Devils. Put two, pl uh, two one one devils. They deal damage, so it's very similar to Devil's Playground. Two of those. In a struggle, target creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Quite sure what that would do. And Ascension in the ranks, target blocking creature fights another target blocking creature. That's quite cool. It's a nice little uh, red white, I think it's aggro deck. It's very cool though. Um, so I'll be having a look at what new decks I can build out of the stuff I've pulled recently. Stick those all together. We've got our two foils. Alright, so now we've looked through the deck. Let's look through the two packs that it came with. Oh. Okay, so Emissary of the Sleepless, Jace's Scrutiny, Stallion of Ashmouth, Aspiring Captain, Gone Missing, that's quite cool. Um, Voldarian Duelist, we got in the last pack, same as the Fork in the Road, Hulking Devil again. Might Beyond Reason, put two plus one counters on target creature, put three. Um, instead, if they're four more types, card and graveyard. It's quite cool. Uh, we have a uncommon daring sleuth. Um, when you sacrifice a clue, transform him. What is he? He becomes bearer of overwhelming truth. His prowess. Um, whenever he takes, it, that's quite cool. Okay, guess it's binding. Summons some zombies. Pour over the pages. Draw three cards. Untap up two lands. Then discard a card. Very cool. Have a woodland stream, which is a dual land, and our rare is another devil's playground. That's very cool though. Still having a couple of those. Yeah, devil side card and insect token. Very very cool. Let's put that over there. Two of those in two packs. There we go. And then the last pack for this video. Let's take a look. I'll do another video to open all the Gatewatch packs. There's ten of them, I believe, in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten. I'll open those in another video. So in this one we have Murderous Compulsion, Destroy Tapped Creature, another the Carthar's Companion, Vessel of Paramne Par Paramnesia. Okay, so it's a two cast. Um, pay one, sacrifice it. Uh, target player puts the top three cards of the library into her graveyard, and you draw a card. Alm of the Vein. Heh, it's a pun. Target creature loses three life and you gain three life. So that's quite interesting for the um, vampire deck. I have the white black one. Um, punk 
Sanctuary Light, destroy target attack and blocking creature. It's good for, I'd imagine those are good for drafts. And the Fiery Temper deals 3 damage and the Madness cost. Intrepid Provisioner. Explosive Apparatus. Cool. Uh, we have a dual card. Gastaff Arsonist. Or Gatstaff. Beginning of your or each upkeep, if no spells were cast, transform him. What does he become? He becomes Gatstlaf Ravenger. He becomes a werewolf. He's a menace. And then he can he transforms back if he casts spells. That's quite cool. Open the armory, search your library for an aura, equip it, reveal um, equipment card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. Have a pack guardian, which is a wolf spirit. When it enters the battlefield, you can discard a land card. If you do, put a 2 2 green wolf creature into the battlefield. It's quite cool. I uh, suppose you could do that over multiple multiple times. Every time it dies, you bring it back. Incorrigible youths. Uh, they have haste. Madness for three. And the rare is Declaration in Stone. Very cool. It's a two. Exile target creature. And all of the creatures its controller controls with the same name. That player investigates for each non-token creature exiled this way. Have a dual thing. Ooh, and a foil is the Wildfield Scarecrow. So you can sacrifice him, get two basic lands, then put them in your hand, shuffle your library. Very cool. And a human soldier token. Ah, there's been some really nice pulls in those packs. Foil up there again. Go. So that has been the deck maniacs. Most of the packs in the box unboxed, as well as a look at the uh, Shadows of Innistrad Angelic Fury intro pack. So I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, um, I will only know that if you like and subscribe down below. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.